everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun and super cute and easy DIY stocking stuffer gifts. And like I said, they're very easy and they're super affordable. So pretty much anybody can get their hands on whatever I make all of these things out of. And they're really fun to make and you can customize them pretty much however you want, which I think is the best part. But before we get into the video, I wanted to let you guys know that this video is also a giveaway in collaboration with a bunch of other girls here on YouTube and they're amazing. And I'll leave all of their faces around me somewhere and also I'll have their videos and channel links or whatever in the description box so that you guys can check out all of their channels and videos. And if you're coming over from one of their channels then I just wanted to welcome you guys here and I hope that you enjoy my videos and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave too. This giveaway is really cool too because there will actually be four winners this time and the first winner will be getting the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. The second place winner will be getting the Tarte Greatest Glitz holiday set. Third place winner will get the Kat Von D shade and light palette and the fourth place winner will be getting a $30 gift card to your choice of either Sephora, Target, Ulta, or Starbucks. But yes, I will have everybody's videos and everything in the description box as well as all the rules and how to enter the giveaway in the description box below, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with my video. So my first DIY are these super cute glass pebble magnets and they're really easy to make. All you need are some glass pebbles or actual pebbles. I got mine from the dollar store as well as some white paint or whatever color you guys want and a sharpie and also a glue gun and some little magnets to glue on the back of your pebbles. I spray painted my little glass pebbles off camera and let them dry completely just to save time in this video and all I did was start to draw on random patterns and designs with a sharpie. Of course if you have a bunch of different color sharpies you can make this really bright or of course you could just use paint but sharpie is definitely the easiest way to go and you can get some really cool designs with it. If you're totally stuck you can go on like Pinterest or just google different images that you could draw and recreate on the stones or you could do people's names or initials but that's pretty much all I did and it was super super easy and then all I did after that was just hot glue on some of the little magnets and that's all you had to do. And I think it would be really nice to put these in little drawstring bags or something to put into the person's stocking. But that is my first DIY. And my second DIY is to do these little hand dipped or paint dipped spoons. I think this is also perfect for like someone who loves cooking but also somebody that you know who may have like just moved out recently. And you can do this really easily with some wooden spoons. I got mine from the dollar store. Your choice of colors of paint and then also some little sponges and tape. So I'm basically just taping off the sections that I want to paint first just to make sure that I get a really crisp line. And once I did that, I just started to paint on whatever colors I chose. I wanted to do light pink and then like a lime green kind of color and then a light blue. I think those colors are really nice together, but obviously you guys can pick whatever you want or do something more masculine for the guys, but yeah, it's really cool because you can do whatever you want. And then I decided to add a little white strip at the top, so I just let that dry completely. I think I did about two coats for every color that I used, and then I just taped off that little section to do a little white strip, and I did that for all of the spoons. And then after everything was dry, I did a layer of Mod Podge over top of the colors just to make them last a little bit longer. I wouldn't suggest putting these in the dishwasher. I'm not totally sure how the actual paint would hold up. So I would suggest hand washing them. But after everything was completely dry, I just tied it all together with a little string and a bow. And I think it's super cute and fits perfectly in a stocking. My next DIY is probably the easiest out of all of them and they are these little polka dot coasters and all you need for them is cork board or cork board coasters if you can find them. I got mine from the dollar store which makes your life a lot easier and then you just need some paint of your choice. I decided to use white and I forgot to show this but if you have a glue stick it works perfectly for making the little polka dots and if you need to go over it for like a second layer to make the paint a little bit more opaque you can totally do that and if you want this part is totally optional but I did put a layer of Mod Podge over top and then after they dried I stacked them all together and then I also tied them together with a little string and a bow and again these fit perfectly into a stocking.
And my very last DIY are these hand-painted mugs. This is also super easy and they might not fit in stockings, but they are small and it's just like a really nice little gift. But all you need is a mug, some Sharpies, and some multi-surface paint if you want that's permanent, and then also some brushes. But if you have colored Sharpies, it's probably even easier to do it, but I just didn't have them. So I just went ahead and wrote like a boss. I decided that I wanted to do the boss in a different color, so that's why I used the paint, but it's totally optional. But you can just follow the instruction if you do use glass paint but I went ahead and finished the design that I wanted to do and if you're using sharpie and paint it doesn't really matter you will have to bake it in the oven so I baked it for 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit which will make it permanent and waterproof and that is all of my DIY Christmas stocking stuffer gifts I hope that you guys like it let me know if you decide to try any of these and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video